I'm Homer Nottingham, and this is Qi Gong with Easy Ageless Tai Chi. You gotta film you guys now. He's coming around. Everybody wave at him. Wave at him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and start this class. Let's make a fist for love and an open hand for peace. Put love into peace and take a gentle bow and a bow to each other. You can do eight gentle bows a day. And if you do three belly laughs, you'll be very healthy. Then open this hand and put this hand under here and this hand under here, out to the shoulders, down to the knees, a deep bow for the ancient energy masters. We'll start out with some nice stretching exercises. So let's go ahead and, and start with the, oh, let's start with the, with the back first. So just bring the hands right here and this just turn from side to side. Let's get those lumbar vertebrae, those upper backs opened up for the day, nice and gentle. Just moving, breathing, stretching. A little further each time as it opens up. 80% of our nerves are in there. So we want to get those nerves opened up for the day. Get the body ready for the exercises. Nice and gentle. Feel that lumbar vertebrae. As we squeeze those muscles against those vertebrae, it pumps cranial sacral fluid right into the brain. It's going to give us much better balance and great memories. One last time and then bring it to a gentle stop. Breathe and relax. Let's get, the, let's get the hips this time. Big circle with a big hula hoop type circle. Go at about 70% of what you're capable. If you have an injury or an illness, you go at 40%. Nice and gentle. Moving, breathing, stretching. That lower back and now we're getting those hips opened up. Then we bring it to a gentle stop. Let's rub the hands together, clap them a little bit. Rub them together, get them nice and hot. Take them down to the knees and massage the knees. Give them a nice gentle massage. Slap the knees a little bit. Now put the hands on the knees, wide stance and go in opposite directions, nice and slow and gentle. Moving up and down. Relax. Coming into a Qigong state of mind. Moving, breathing stretched out today. Let's go the other direction a few times. Working all the joints in the legs. And then bring them to a gentle stop. Let's work on those ankles. Put it right on the toe. Give me a big circle. Big circle. And let's go the other direction. Move, breathing, stretching. And let's get on the other toe. Big circle. The other direction. And then bring it to a gentle stop. Let's do the old sage strokes his beard at a calm breath. Fair lady strokes her hair at a calm breath. One last calming breath. Let's bring the hands up at the wrist. We'll get that. First, let's do some uh, let's do some brain fitness. Bring the hands right here. We'll do a couple of brain fitness exercises. This builds neurogenesis. So bring one hand out as a fist, the other hand is a tiger's mouth. So if you can get the index finger and thumb to stick up. If you're new to the class, remember we're just practicing. If you don't get it right, it's okay. Just keep practicing. Put it back and put it on the other side. Back to the prayer position. Index finger and thumb sticking out as best you can. And the index finger runs to your large intestine meridian. Opens up some cavities along the pathway called trigger points. Get toxins in there, it closes up the passageway, so we're opening it up. The thumb runs right into your large, uh, to your lungs. So now we're opening up the lung meridian. We're not using needles, we're using acupressure. Nice and gentle. That brain fitness, neurogenesis. Now once you get those brain cells, it becomes muscle, what you call muscle memory. Then your brain has created a new cognitive reserve pathway that other memories can go through. It serves us well for dementia as we grow older. Keep it nice and healthy. Whatever you're doing is right. If it's hard to do, that means you're building more brain cells. So that's good. Harder it is, put it back to the prayer position, Rudy, here. And then out. Oh, <laughs> now you got it. Very good. Rudy's one of my favorite guys back there. He owns the chocolate shop over in Nevada City in the New York Hotel, the Truffles. Oh, they're to die for. <laughs> 
one last time. Prayer position. Now we're gonna come down and become an archer. So sit down on a chair, do not let the knees come forward. Grab the bow, take that target, use those hand gestures, and then come out, and then come up, and go on the other side, nice and gentle. Become the archer, drawing the bow like an archer, up and down, one last time, and then come up and push down. Let's get some energy into the body before we go any further. Bring the hands right here. Break a big inhale, pause, and exhale. Long exhale, pause, inhale. Deep into the lungs, pause, inhale. Pause, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Long deep breaths now. Inhale, exhale. Pause, inhale, pause, and exhale. One last time, so we're going to inhale, pause, and exhale. Breathe and relax. So the old sage strokes his beard in a calming breath on the exhale. As the hand comes down, let him face the earth, palms facing the earth, make the wrist very tight. There's eight carpal bones in each wrist. You need to work them so you don't have trouble with the carpal tunnel. Make the back long and straight. Lift the head, drop the chin so the head's level. Take a big inhale and exhale and look backwards over the shoulder as you come around. Let the eyes roll and look backwards. Come back to the center on the inhale. And then exhale on the other side. Long deep breaths. The eyes roll and look backwards. It's called looking backwards till the illness disappears. When those eyes look backwards, they open up some cavities, some trigger points in the neck that runs right down to your liver. Runs from the eyes to the liver. There's a meridian. We're just opening it up, getting the toxins out, which is mostly inflammation, arthritis, diseases, allergies. What Harvard Medical School tells us 60 to 90% of all your doctor visits, all your injuries and illnesses are coming from stress and tension in the body. So we're opening up those passageways, getting some of the tension out of the body, but nice and healthy. One last time, come back to the center, shake the wrist, get them moving again. This time we're gonna work the jaw. So look up and let the mouth open very wide. I'll look down deep into the earth and let it close, moving up and down, opening and closing. You have 22 bones in your skull. And only one of them has a hinge and that's the jaw and that goes right into your inner ear. We lose 40% of the balance sensors in that inner ear as we grow older. Good news is we can rejuvenate them and regenerate them. We can return them to their natural healthy condition. Let's get all the snap cracks and pops out of that inner ear. Start losing cells in our body at age 20. We lose them the rest of our lives. That's why pro athletes can only play till they're about 35 years old. About 40, we start losing them rather rapidly. We'll lose 1% of our bone density every year. Let's get that inner ear opened up one last time. Come back to the center. Drop the ear over to the shoulder. Roll around the chest and lean back gently and slowly. Get all the snap cracks and pops out of the neck and the shoulders as best we can. Just moving, breathing, stretching. Getting the body ready for the tight sheet. Coming up next, just nice and gentle. Get it all stretched out. Now, when we squeeze those muscles against those vertebrae, just go the other direction if you haven't already. When we squeeze them, it pumps cranial sacral fluid. It goes right into your brainstem, cervical vertebrae number ones, right in your brainstem, brings some fluid right to the cerebellum. Be great for your balance, also for memory. Keep it nice and healthy. Get that cranial sacral fluid flowing one last time, then bring it to a gentle stop. Now put the hands behind you, pull the shoulders back, push the chin out. Now get the shoulders back and the chin out. 
Take a big inhale and then very slowly move as you exhale at the eyes, search the sea. When you come to the edge, inhale back to the center and then do it on the other side. Now you got seven cervical vertebrates. Right between the shoulder blades is cervical vertebrae number seven. Number one is right in your brain stem. So we're squeezing and releasing those muscles and getting it to penetrate into the ligaments that are holding all those bones together in your neck are ligaments and tendons holding the muscles against the bone and movement penetrates with an oily bath the water creates to hydrate the body lubricate the body like putting wd-40 into that neck keeping it nice and soft and flexible and loose moving smoothly it's like you oil your car you need to oil that body on a regular basis the government's telling us it's three times a week or 150 minutes per week is the minimum that you can get by with. One last time, come back to the center. Now drop the chin right against the shoulder, uh, chest. Now keep the chin against the body. Take a big inhale and exhale and look backwards over the shoulder. Come back to the center and then do it on the other side. Nice and gentle. Keep that head down. You've got the seven cervical vertebrae open. Getting all the cartridges between them lubricated and hydrated and ready for the day. Movement is medicine. Movement penetrates into the body, the oily bath, sedentary lifestyle, sitting around watching TV, working on a computer, driving a car, atherpy will set in and the body will start to get stiffer and stiffer as we get older. That fluid will congeal in the body, so we wanna keep it soft, flexible, and moving. One last time. Bring it to a gentle stop, breathe and relax. Bring the hands out front and turn the fingers all the way to the heart. And just move back and forth, nice and gentle. Stretching all the joints in the hands and the arms. Let's get them ready for the day. Let it penetrate right into those joints. One last time. Now bring the hands out and cross the fingers. Now give me a big figure eight on both sides. Moving breathing, stretching, hand reflexology. Now you have more bones in your hands and feet than the entire body put together. You have 110 bones in your hands and feet. You only have 210 bones in your entire body. So hand and foot reflexology is very important to do on a regular basis. You get a lot of arthritis, carpal tunnel, trigger fingers, you get neuropathy of the feet. You get all kinds of things happen, cramps, all kinds of things happen to the hands and feet. Now go the other direction, nice and gentle, just moving, breathing, stretching, getting ready for the day. Then bring it to a gentle stop. No elbow, no tendonitis in the elbows. Bring the hands right up to the fingertips, to the shoulders, and work those elbows, nice and gentle. Moving, stretching, breathing. Those elbows go bad, they're very painful. You get tendonitis in there, it's called tennis elbow or golfer's elbow. You wanna keep them nice and open. So put the fingertips right on the shoulders and give me a nice big circle now. Let's open up those shoulders. Nice and gentle, just moving. Now let's go the other direction a few times. Breathing, stretching those shoulders ready for the day, then bring it to a gentle stop. Bring one hand across, grab it by the elbow and pull it. That works the rotator cuff in the arm. Very painful when it gets torn or, or you have a problem with the rotator cuff. You want to work it gently, softly. One last time. And then let the hands float down, breathe and relax. So let's, let's roll those shoulders in a big shoulder. Bring them up to the ears and then roll them forward and then back. Big circle. Let's get them opened up for the day. Stretch those shoulders. Green dragon roll shoulders. Let's go the other direction. Lift them up, pull them back, and then bring them forward. Nice and healthy, nice and gentle. One last time. And then bring it to a gentle stop. So, Diana, you want to come up? Jennifer? Sure. And turn your backs to them. Okay, we're going to do some easy, ageless Tai Chi now. 
So they're going to turn their backs to you. So watch them. Don't. Hi, Lourdes. <laughs> Thanks for coming up. Daddy. No, that's good. We love having you here. So now watch them. Don't watch me simply because uh, I'm facing you. So they're facing the other way. So you'll be able to do the easy age of this Tai Chi. We're going to do eight steps, simply eight steps. So we open the door, let the hands come up. And as they come down, we soften the knees. Now we step back when they get to the waist. We step back with the right foot, drag the left foot up, and then bring the hand up as you do. Pick up the foot, stand on one leg basically if you can, and then come down and brush knee and push. Now let the right hand come around, pick up the right leg, and the golden rooster stands on one leg, nice and slow. Whatever you can do is fine. If it drops, it's okay. Hands at the side, right hand in front of the throat, up the center, reach up into the heavens. Heaven always turns its head down to the knees, come across, cross the hands and settle the emotions and then flip. Now come up and down the center. Reach out to the right, I'm going a little fast, we'll slow it down. And then step over and push down. Left side, easy, ageless Tai Chi. Open the door. Step back with the left leg. White crane spreads its wings. Just come up nice and slow, building strength, flexibility, and balance. Brush knee and push. Let the left hand come around, pick up the left leg, and the golden rooster stands on one leg. Now step way out, left hand comes here. Right hand up the center, comes down, around, crosses in front of the heart, flips the whole universe, come down the center, reach out to the left, cross the hands, come back and push down. Easy ageless Tai Chi. So that's for brain fitness. If you're new to the class, it's rather hard to do, but just keep practicing. Try to memorize the name of the steps. Any of these exercises you can do anywhere, anytime, at home, or in the woods, when you're camping or hiking or in the bedroom, the living room, you do them seated, standing, it makes no difference. So let's do the easy, ageless Tai Chi again for brain fitness. So try to remember the name of the steps. Open the door. Now let the hands slowly come down to about the belt. When they get at the belt, step back with the right foot and hold a big ball in front of you. Drag the foot up on the toe, white crane, spreads its wings. Now come down and both hands go to the right and brush knee and push. Right hand will come around, pick up the right leg as the golden rooster stands on one leg. Now step way out to the side. Hands at the side, right hand in front of the throat. Left hand will come up the center. Turn. Sorry, I went the wrong way. And then clear and close. Beautiful, reach out to the right. Step back, push down. Okay, easy, ageless, Tai Chi. We'll get it right this time. We're gonna do the left side now. Open the door. When the hands get down to the, to the belt right here, step back with the left leg and the white crane picks. So it's the left side comes up, the right leg comes up. And then we come down, watch the ladies, don't watch me, and then come over and brush knee and push. The left hand will come around, pick up the left leg as the golden rooster stands on one leg and then step way out in slow motion, hands at the side, left hand in front of the throat, right hand comes up, turns, comes down to the knees, the other side crosses, heaven horse turns its head, is what that one's called. And then I'll close, and reach out to the left. Cross the hand, step back, and push down. So I pulled my shoulder out yesterday up at the Truckee River. <laughs> so, so it's a little limber, and a little tight, sorry. So make, make the moves as smooth as you can. Sometimes I'm jerking a little bit, so make them as smooth as you can. Watch the ladies. We'll do it one more time. Open the door. A little slower this time. Now step back with the right, stretch the wings out, pick up the foot, 
its white crane spreads its wings. Now we're going to come down. This one is called brush, knee, and push. Now the golden rooster is going to stand on one leg. The right hand will come around, pick up the right leg. Step way out, both hands at the side. This one is called heaven horse turns its head. So the right hand comes in front of the throat. We reach up, turn the head, come around. Now this one is called settle the emotions. And then we flip the whole universe. And now we come down the center to close. Beautiful. Reach out to the right now. Cross, come back, and push down. Now the left side, nice and slow this time. Open the door. Hands are at the belt. We step back and the white crane spreads its wings. At the foot falls, you don't have enough strength yet. That's all right, you're gonna gain that strength in about a month. And then step out and brush knee and push. The left hand comes around, the golden rooster stands on one leg. Now step way out, both hands at the side, left hand in front of the throat, right hand comes up, turns, settles the emotions, flips the whole universe, and down the center. As we come down the center, we bring the energy down to the belt meridian, reach out to the left, Cross the hands, come back over and push down. Easy, ageless Tai Chi, eight steps. Okay, let's do a old sage strokes his beard in a calming breath. Fair lady strokes her hair in a calming breath. One last calming breath. Breathe and relax. Strength training, strength and bone density. So. Now this time we're gonna work all those wrinkles in the face, get them all out of the face, unless you're Ethan, then you don't have any wrinkles in your face, so that's good. <laughs> oh, to be 13 again. I wouldn't have a sore shoulder if I was 13 again. <laughs> I was pulling a river raft yesterday with five people at it, so. <laughs> it was kind of fun though. You're amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And the water was ice cold. It was the Truckee yeah. River, it was snow water. It was really great though. So let's work the face. We're gonna make a Halloween face. Raise the eyes and make a terrible face and get squeeze every muscle in your face. Get them really tight. Get all the muscles tight in your face. Look like a Halloween scarecrow or something. Oh yeah. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release them. Now squeeze them again. One and release. Two and release. Three and release. Four and release. Five and release. Six and release. Seven and release. Eight and release. Nine and release. Ten. Okay, you're gonna get a lot of those wrinkles out of your face, gonna tighten all those muscles up. It's gonna do a really great job. Now the throat. This is called iron shirt qigong, so we wanna make it like iron. Your muscles are gonna get very, very strong. We're gonna work 650 muscles right now and 210 bones. So let's squeeze the throat really tight. Get it really tight like iron. See, it's tight. Squeeze those muscles tight. Strength building. Squeeze them tight, hold them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we got a real have real tight muscles there. Now we want to have very strong chest. So we're going to squeeze the hands very tight. The fists are going to the hands are going to get very strong. We're going to pull the stomach in and push the chest out and squeeze tight. All right, hold it really tight. I like iron. It's iron shirt qigong. We're going to have like we're wearing an iron shirt. Get those muscles like iron. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release. One, two. Three, four, five, squeeze those shoulders. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Strike training, you're gonna get very strong. Now we wanna have a very strong core. That takes the pain out of your body. It'll lift, help lift all those joints apart so the pain goes away. So we're gonna work the core. There's six layers of muscles around the core. One of the few places that has six layers of muscle, six layers of fat, 
and six layers of fascia that's holding everything in place, the membrane. We need to stretch all of it. So this time we're gonna work the upper back. We're gonna squeeze the shoulders just a bit, pull the, be uh, the belly button right into the bone and squeeze the upper back. Now the upper back's gonna get very strong, the core. So just hold it that way for a moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, release. Now one, pull it in. Two, all the way to the backbone. Three, four, iron shirt. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so we got a nice strong core. Now we wanna work the lower back muscles. Back, back uh, problems, number one reason for doctor visits. We wanna keep that core very strong. That'll keep the back working properly. I have five bulging discs from uh, skiing. And if I didn't do this, I'd probably have to have them fused together. So you wanna really keep these muscles strong. It really helps the back. So this time we're gonna push the stomach out. I'm not, sorry, not, no, you have to make a fist. Push it out like a balloon. Get it really hard and feel it right in your lower back. Push it out hard, hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we got that back working properly. So it's really good. Now the hips, we have way too many hip replacements. We want to get those hips nice and tight. Squeeze those hips like iron, get them like iron. Squeeze the buttock, the hips, get that whole section really tight like iron. No hip replacements, so we can help it. If you've had them replaced, it's gonna help strengthen them. It's gonna stretch out the scar tissue in there also. So hold tight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, release. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Strong hips, very good. Now we're gonna go from the hips down to the knees. So squeeze the, the knees and the thighs. Squeeze them really tight so the upper leg is like iron. If you squeeze the bottom part, that's okay. Whatever you're squeezing, but make sure the upper leg is tight like iron. Hold it tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Release. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 strong thighs. Now we want that lower leg. So every thing from the ankle, including the knee again, we have a lot of trouble with knees. So we wanna do them two times. We just did them that time. Now we're gonna do them again with the ankles. So squeeze a calf all the way from the ankles up to the, to the knees. The lower leg is hard like iron now. Keep it really hard, hold it tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, release. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, strong calves. That also squeezes and releases the veins and pushes the blood back to the heart. There's valves in your calves and where those valves are at, the blood will set in there because the heart doesn't push you, push it all the way back up into the heart. So it's going to clear those uh, areas up so the plaque and cholesterol doesn't stay in those, those valves and that causes varicose veins. So that'll help with the varicose veins. Now the feet, we want them like iron. So squeeze the toes, there's trigger points on the toes. Squeeze the bottom of the feet, squeeze the heel, the top, the ankle, that foot nice and tight. It's great for balance, keep it really tight like iron one two three four five six seven eight nine ten release one two three four five squeeze the toes six seven eight nine ten okay so we got the whole body we got 650 muscles in about 10 minutes now you can do that anywhere anytime it's gonna make your body get much stronger. We lose our body as we, the cells in our body as we grow older. So we lose 1% of our muscle mass in those legs every year after age 50, 1% per year. And that also strengthens the bones. So we lose 1% uh, of our bone density every year after age 40. We need to really strengthen it up. Now the whole body, so bring the hands up front, 
Squeeze the face tight, the neck tight, the shoulders tight. Squeeze tight, everything's like iron. Squeeze the stomach, push it out, get it tight. The hips, squeeze them tight. Th thighs, knees, calves, ankles, feet, everything's tight. This is embrace the tree, hold that tree tighter. Make the face, uh, those Halloween muscles. Everything's tight, the whole body's tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like iron. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, isometric pressure. So you're gonna get very strong doing that. So let's do the old sage strokes his beard in a calm breath. Fair lady strokes her hair in a calm. One last calming breath. Breathe and relax. See how we're doing on time here? Okay, we're okay on time. So breathe and relax. So this, this time we're going to work the uh, immune system. Your immune system's four times larger than your cardiovascular system, but you have a heart that pumps the cardiovascular system blood through the through the whole body we don't have that for the immune system you're the pump you must squeeze and release the lymph nodes in the body by squeezing and releasing the, the muscles so a sedentary lifestyle your immune system will get weak you'll have more colds flu and pneumonia we want to keep it strong so we don't have that so put the hands on the hips we're going to squeeze some lymph nodes now sit down on a tall stool or a chair do not let the knees come forward now keep the back long and straight, the head up, shift over to one leg, and then rise. Now sink on that same leg, shift to the other leg, and rise. Now turn the head and look backwards over the shoulder, and begin to move like a snake. Snake is totally balanced, your legs are going to get very strong, going to give you beautiful balance. And more importantly, what we're doing, we're squeezing the lymph nodes and the knees, the integral groove where the leg connects to the body is where the most lymph nodes in the body is at. So those muscles are squeezing them and releasing lymph fluid. And the armpits and the neck when we turn the head. So we're squeezing lymph nodes all over the body, going directly into the bloodstream. Start to take inflammation out of the body. It'll circulate in about a minute and a half. Start to remove that inflammation from the body that's causing pain and discomfort. So back and forth. Squeezing and releasing the lymph nodes. Letting the lymph fluid go into our blood. One last time. So we sink, shift, rise, step back to the center. Fair lady strokes her hair in a calming breath. Old sage strokes his beard in a calming breath. One last calming breath. Relax, breathe and relax. Let's work the legs just a little bit more now. The ankle, especially for balance, prevent those falls. We're having way too many falls. The hospital has a big waiting list up there. It's about a five hour waiting list this time of the day to get into the emergency room. So bring the foot out on the heel here. Now put it down and come up on the toe of the other foot. Stretching the ankles. Now squeeze the toes also now out here and then come up. Now we're gonna go backwards. So pick up the heel or the toe on the heel step back step back working those ankles and feet better balance right on the toe it's trigger points on the toe squeeze the toes on the heel on the toe squeeze the toes release the toes pick up the heel step back step back other foot now on the heel on the toe on the heel on the toe back on the heel step back on the heel one last time we'll do one on each side so on the heel on the toe big toe goes to your liver and spleen the meridian does little toe go right into your bladder backwards now the other foot on the heel on the toe on the heel on the toe backwards on the heel on the heel and backwards and a old sage strokes his beard and a calming breath. Fair lady strokes her hair and a calm breath. One last calm breath. Breathe and relax. Beautiful. 
one more and then we'll do some healing sounds. So bring the hands here and work the upper and middle body now. So we're gonna push one hand out and open it very wide and pull the fingers back towards you and push the palm away from you. It's going to uh, work the arthritis in the fingers, a little more hand reflexology. So push out, pull the other fist back and turn and look at the elbow, work in the heart and the lungs. Now do it on the other side. Push it out, stretch, stretch, stretch. Now the other side, exhale. Nice and gentle, and then exhale. As you push out, inhale as you come back, look at the elbow, moving, breathing, stretching. Stretching all those fingers, arthritis, the knees, opening the heart and the lungs. Working the entire middle part of your body as you push the stone tablets, like you're pushing a refrigerator. Push that isometric pressure on that hand. Push it hard. Squeeze and release. One last time. And then let the hands float down with a calming breath. Let them pause, take a big inhale as you come up. Pause and a big exhale as you come down. Pause, inhale, pause, exhale. One last time. Inhale, pause, exhale. Beautiful, step back. Healing sounds. Now we're gonna work the endocrine glands. What do the endocrine glands give us? Hormones. hormones. <laughs> and what are hormones? Building blocks. Building blocks. <laughs> so you cannot build a body up without hormones. When we stimulate the endocrine glands, the hormones will go directly into your blood just like the immune system did. Your blood carries everything through your body and heals the body. We're all healers. We get the hormones, the immune system builds up, everything starts to help the body heal. So we're gonna start with the eight endocrine glands. The pituitary gland is right in the third eye. Uh, they call it spirit dwelling in there. And that's because it gives us 10 different hormones for the body, 10 different hormones. So it's right in the third eye. We're gonna bring the palm of the hand, the leg on, that means work palace, and put the energy right into the third eye and stimulate it with the healing sounds. We're gonna get the brain vibrating to stimulate the pituitary gland with a big ohm. Here we go. Oh, loud and clear. Now it's going to give us some human growth hormones. Oh, for healing and for strength building. Stimulate it. Get those hormones flowing into the blood. Oh, going to give us oxytocin, a brain hormone. Relaxes the brain. All the love hormones sometimes gives it a good feeling. Oh. Is this serotonin a mood hormone? Oh. Dopamine for happiness. One last time. Oh. Now we're going to come above the ears, the crown point of the head. Oh. Tiny little gland giving us melatonin in the center of the brain. Oh. Sleep hormone that regulates the body. Oh. It's called the pineal gland. Tiny little gland. Oh. About the size of a grain of rice that like regulates your whole body. Oh. Come out of the throat with a big E moving the sound into the throat. E. Sounds in the throat now. E. Stimulating the thyroid. E us mood hormones. T3, T4 on your blood report from your doctors where you'll find them. They cause depression. Keep them flowing. Keep it stimulated. Works on our metabolism. That metabolism working today? Give us vitality for this afternoon one last time. Now come out at the throat, at the chest with a big ah. Ah. Moving the sound right into the chest where the thymus is at. Stimulate that thymus. Works on our immune system. Trains those white blood cells, to, uh, red blood cells to be white blood cells. Puts them into our immune system for health, for healing. 
Beautiful. It ages us. One last time for the thymus. I make a fist and thump right at the top of the chest like Tarzan. Oh, yeah. So what happens to this thymus is that it quits working as we get older. It works less and less. That's why elders get sicker than young people. That's why they had to close the nursing homes for the coronavirus because they have a weak immune system. So this stimulated, get some white blood cells moving in, it ages us. Now push down. Now we're going to come right down through the center and we're going to come right to the belt buckle. Right at the belt buckle is the pancreas. So we'll bring the hands around the head, we'll twist and turn both directions and bring the sound young, Y-A-N-G, down the center, right into the pancreas. You'll see here and feel it coming right down the center. So we go young. Young. A little louder. Young. Stimulate it. Young. It's a hormone called insulin. Young. 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 Regulates our blood sugar. Young. Good for diabetes, type 1 or 2. For near diabetes. Young. Beautiful. Young. Gives us enzymes for digestion. Those hormones flowing. Those enzymes flowing. One last time. Young. And push down. Now we're going to come right down through the center of the body. And we're going to clear out the uh, ovaries, the testes, all the sexual organs. Push all the impurities out of the heart, out of the body. So come up to the heart. You're going to see here and feel the sound. It's going to come right down through the center of the body as we push it down. You'll see here and feel it. Follow your hands. Sound is chew like you chew gum. Chew. Chew. Push all the impurities out of the body. Chew. Bring in some clear, clean energy from the universe. Chew. Some chi, life's vital force. Chew. 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 Push all the heat out of the intestines. Chew. Chew. Causes heartburn. Chew. Chew. One last time. Chew. One to go, we got the adrenals and they're right on top of the kidneys. So we're gonna have to lean forward, stretch the kidneys. That'll stretch the adrenals. We'll make a sound, Joe, and then we'll, as we bend forward, we'll say E. It's gonna come right down the back into the adrenal glands. So we go, Joe, 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 No heart palpitations. Joe, No high blood pressure. Joe, Beautiful. Joe, no hypertension. Joe, Stimulate those adrenal Joe, glands. One last time. Joe, Push down, step back. Breathe and relax. So the old sage strokes his beard in a calm. Fair lady strokes her hair in a calm. One last calming breath. See how we're doing on time. Yeah, we got time to do the vagus nerve, and we will do the heart and the lungs with the healing sound also. And the vagus nerve, you got 12 cranial nerves in your brain. One of them is a wandering nerve that comes from the brain down through the throat. You couldn't talk without it, you couldn't swallow without it, you couldn't do anything. And then it's going to come down, it's going to spread out in and around your heart, all the way around the heart. And it's going to come and get all your internal organs. Now that's the vagus nerve. It's called the wandering nerve. It holds hypertension in our bodies. So when it gets hot this afternoon, you're going to be a lot more irritated because this nerve does not like heat. You go to the hospital for a heart, sometimes they'll put an ice pack on there to calm it down. So we're going to calm it down with a healing sound. So bring one hand here and one hand here. Now the sound's going to follow the bottom hand. It's going to come up and down. It'll come up from the coccyx, up the back. It'll go to the crown point of the head and then it'll come down the front and go back to the coccyx in a, in a universal orbit around the body. So it's called a universal orbit. So we're going to use the word ve and then gus. You'll see here and feel it follow the hand. So we go ve gus. Ve gus. Loud and clear. Ve gus. Stimulate it. Ve Yes, it'll release hypertension. Vegas. Beautiful. Vegas. Vegas. One last time. Vegas. And push down.
breathe and relax. So that vagus nerve is an important one. By the way, Diana was uh, an elf at the at the children's <laughs> festival. Give her a round of applause. Thank you, thank you, Diana. We did a lot of painting on the kids' faces and arms. She's a, a painter, a body painter. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much for the help. And those of you that were there, thank you very much for helping us. We had 3,500 children, at least 3,500. <laughs> there on Friday. So it was a great event. The kids loved it. Uh, so if you see the Kiwanians, thank them very much for, for helping us with it. It was great. And thank you for, all, for all, the, all the help you gave us. So we're going to work the uh, uh, the heart. Let's do the, uh, the liver meridian. So step out with the right foot. There's a meridian that runs from your eyes. It comes down. It goes right through the liver. That's the largest organ in your body. It goes from the right side clear to the left side. That's a big part of your immune system. So we want to clear the right side of the body. Remember, stress and tension is causing most of our doctor visits. So bring the right hand to the eye, the left hand above it. We're going to lean back on your back leg. We're going to bring the healing sound down the right side of the body and get all the stress and tension out of the right side of the body with the sound shoo, like what you're wearing with a big U. Shoo. Shoo. Clear the liver. Shoo. Carries anger. We're clearing some cavities along the right side of the body, getting some inflammation and toxins Shoo. out like a Reiki master. Shoo. Moving it with the healing sound. Shoo. And our hands and mind. Shoo. Where the mind goes, the chi flows. Shoo. Stop over the liver now. Shoo. Left side. I can see anger out of the body. Let's go to the left side. Now this is the spleen. It's about as big as my finger and thumb sits right here in front of the stomach, right behind the rib here. And that spleen takes all the dead blood cells out of your body. Since we started this class, you have about a billion extra dead blood cells in your body. So it <laughs> takes them out, ships them over to the liver. The essence comes out to the liver, turns them into bile, and the liver puts them into the gallbladder. So this is the one that takes the dead blood cells out of your body. It really does a lot of work. It's part of your immune system, a big part, so you're going to be a lot healthier. So bring the hand, right, left hand to the mouth. It's on the left side. The right hand underneath it. We're going to come down to the knee and back into the knee at the, at the rib. The sound of an owl. Hoo. Beautiful. Hoo. Hoo. See here and feel the sound following your hands. Oh. Moving energy through the body like a Reiki master. Oh. Clearing the spleen. Oh. Beautiful. Oh. Stop over the spleen now. Oh. The spleen carries worry. So we got some worry out of the body. Got some anger out of the body. With the other. Now we're going to come right down the center. We'll work the heart. So we go full chat. We'll go om and the head will vibrate. We'll go ah, the throat will vibrate. We go hung, the throat will vibrate. So inhale up. Om ah, Beautiful. Om ah, Let the heart smile at you, an inner smile. Om ah, Stop over the heart this time, it carries anxiety. Om anxiety out of the body push down step into a wide stance toes pointing towards the corner of the park we're going to push the hands out to the corner of the park we're going to sound like a lion roaring we're going to go c s e e c a do not let the knees come forward put the hands here the big big c a to clear the lungs the cavities of the lungs c a beautiful c a like a lion c a yes See ya. See ya. Get all the sadness and grief out. See ya. See ya. Clear the lungs. See ya. They do a lot of work for you. See ya. Keep them health happy. See ya. Let them smile at you. See ya. One last time. See ya. Oh, beautiful. One more, and then we'll, have, then we'll have to close. Let's make a fist and massage the kidneys right in the back of the knee, right there. Oh, it feels good. Yeah. Now. Kidneys carry fear and they age us. So we're gonna growl like a bear. We're gonna go chur o e and like we're hugging a tree. So the bear hugs the tree. Chur o e. Come around and massage those kidneys again. Give them a vigorous massage. Inhale up. Chur o e. Beautiful. 
keep them healthy. They do a lot of work. Inhale up. Cheerily. They carry fear. Let's bring some courage in. Inhale up. Cheerily. One last time for the kidneys. Inhale up. Cheerily. Push down. Step back. So let's do five pink cheese. We get most of our toxins out through the lungs. Our breath puts most toxins out of the body. So we're gonna blow out five times, punch out with a fist five times and uh, clear the lungs. So we go. One more. Now, like you're riding a bike, just let the hands relax the body and bring it to a nice, gentle relaxation. And then push down. So we get 70% of our nutrients from our lungs from our breathing and most of the toxins go out through our breath you weigh yourself tonight see what you weigh you wake up in the morning weigh yourself again you find you lost two or three pounds where did it go it went out through your breath that's how we clear the body we clear the lungs so the breath is very important so let's go ahead and close for the day so let's do a, a guided meditation just bring the hands right here now let the hand circle. When it gets to the heart, let the thumb drop straight down the spinal cord into the heart as we get centered for the day. Nice and gentle. We're getting centered with love, peace, and compassion. The Tai Chi definition of love is perfect kindness. Let's bring some perfect kindness into our heart for all that we meet today and for ourselves, love for ourselves. Tai Chi definition of compassion it's perfect awareness. Let's become aware of this small universe we call the body. The more we know about it, the healthier we'll be. And the Tai Chi definition of peace is perfect contentment. Let's be perfectly content with all that we're doing today and all that we have. One last time getting centered with love, perfect kindness, peace, perfect contentment, and compassion, perfect awareness. Now bring the hands in front of the lungs and just go back and forth slowly. Let's balance the lungs. You might feel a little push or pull on your hands. It's okay if you do, it's okay if you don't. If you do, you're starting to feel chi, life's vital force. It's called the guardian chi. Scientists call it the etheric feel. Over at Stanford, they'll measure to see what kind of resistance you have to diseases and allergies. We just call it guardian chi. It guards the body. It's in our circle of infinity, about 10 feet around us and very powerful. I bring the hands in front of the, the spinal cord, move up and down. Feel the push or the pull of your heart's energy now. Push or pull of the heart's energy. So our goal is happiness. Don't let the world change your happiness. Let your happiness change the world. Nice and gentle. Turn the hands over. It's gonna feel very light now. It's gonna feel very light. That's because we haven't balanced the other side. Then it'll start to get a little heavier. You start to feel that chi, that energy, that life's vital force again. Nice and gentle. We bring it to a gentle stop, let the hands come down. We make a fist here, an open hand here. Love and peace. With love and peace and acknowledge each other for being here today. Thank you very much for coming today. And then open the hands so we have two hands for peace. We need a lot of peace in the world. Put this hand under here and this hand under here, out to the shoulders, down to the knees. A deep bow for the ancient energy masters that have been doing the exercises for thousands of years. So now we have one thing left to do. Step back, step back. <laughs> and that's laughing, laughing Qigong. Step back. Oh, we got to step back. All right, make a fist for love oh, and a fan here. Back. I thought we did that. We oh, we didn't step back. All right, step back. Step now we got one thing left to do. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We almost got stuck all day. Yeah, we almost got stuck all day. You've got to complete what you started, you'll get stuck in it. That's true. So, Lourdes is right. Thank you very much. So, now our laughing Qigong. Now, ARP tells us that's the best thing you can do for your health and for your memory. We need three belly laughs every day, and you're going to be very healthy. We're going to do two of them here. You're going to get one in the community. So, let's laugh. Ah! <laughs> Okay, we got one belly laugh in. So now we go, very good, very good, yay. Very good, very good, yay. Very good, very good, yay. One more and we'll be set for the day. Chicken dance. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. 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 Ho, ho, ha, ha, 
good yay! yay. What a very yay. good, very good yay. yay! Thanks for coming. I had to stay in front of the camera, I'm sorry. <laughs> Have a good day.